to think that the creatures that used to roam here in their own backyard, uh, most people don't have the slightest idea. And when they come and see this exhibit, they're absolutely uh, amazed at what was actually here not so long ago. NASA partnered with Taylor Studios Incorporated to uh, design the exhibit hall and working with just a full, you know, from scratch, uh, clean slate of a room, you know, that was totally empty. Uh, they helped guide us through the design process and helped us focus our ideas so that we knew what we wanted to say, but we didn't know how to say it and how to um, present it visually. And they really helped us uh, guide us through that process. And uh, that was just extraordinarily valuable to us to have that guidance and that expertise. We feel like it's important to, to show the Ice Ages or the Pleistocene epoch here because uh, it's a part of the story of, of this area. Uh, our mission here at the, the museums is the Carolina Piedmont, that nice little piece of land between the mountains and the coastal plain. Historically, it's been overlooked by researchers and, and scientists, so we want to tell that story. And going as far back in time as we can, well, you come to this museum, you're going to see exhibits about the Piedmont now you're going to see exhibits about the Piedmont 600 years ago when the European explorers first arrived and going back further in time uh, to the Pleistocene we felt like was the next step of that story and that's a two and a half million year span of time. This newest exhibit that we've created um, Ice Age Carolinas um, is by far my favorite exhibit for what we've um, produced over the last, you know, 20 something years. As a kid, I was that kid that loved dinosaurs, what kid doesn't? But as I got older and started looking into the Ice Ages or the Pleistocene, you know, I figured out there were beasts roaming around here then that were just as amazing as the dinosaurs. They were just large mammals instead of, of large reptiles. Being able to be involved at the basic level to tell the story of the Carolina Piedmont going back two and a half million years was just an amazing opportunity for me. I think it is important to understand how we can preserve wildlife, how we can preserve our planet, even related to climate. And you know, this exhibit being primarily about climate change, <laughs> you know, it, it really speaks a lot towards how people can be involved with making a difference in that. So part of what we're teaching here is that people do have a place. And even if we're talking about prehistory, even before people were really on Earth, um, it's still important to learn about all of those time periods just to see where we came from. And that kind of leads us into where we're going and what we can do to make the world, I think, a better place for the future.